Well, hello everyone, welcome back. I want to say uh, it's been a little while, but um, I've decided to make another video. I'm out today, I've just gone back from the Norfolk Button Boy dig at Thick Thorn Estate, and I'll tell you what, it's an absolutely beautiful place. Um, if you haven't uh, seen any videos or, or any pictures of the finds yet, go over to the Norfolk Button Boy uh, channel on his YouTube and just go and have a look and just look at the incredible place that we uh, were lucky enough to dig on. Um, I found two very nice uh, items. I found a, a nice jetton. I'll put a picture just up here. Um, not too sure. Never seen one like that before. It's got a face on it, and I've never seen a face on a jetton before. So a bit unsure on that. And I was very lucky enough to find a uh, hammered coin. Um, I thought it was a King Stephen, but after posting um, a few pictures online, um, I've been told it's the King David the First of Scotland. So that's a first for me. Apparently, it's a rare coin, um, but I'm very, very happy with that. So I thought I'd come out today. It's uh, it's, it's a bit wet, but um, that makes the, the ground conditions a bit better, I find. So I'm gonna stop talking, get into the video, and hopefully find some good stuff for you guys. But yeah, glad to be back, and uh, hope you're all well. I'll see you on the first hole. All right, here we have our first signal of today. Fifties, sixties. Um, it's coming in very scratchy. If I go the other way. Doesn't sound very nice at all, but I'm using a custom um, sensitive FT program. But if you stick around to the end of the video, I will uh, show you the, the settings that I'm using. But we'll give this one a live dig and see what we've got. But I'm not hoping the best for because it, it doesn't it doesn't sound the best. But we'll have a look and see what we've got. Nice easy dig in here, but the the, the wheat stubble is a bit of a pain really because it's quite long. Let's see us out. Yep, that's out. Let's have a look. Pinpointer. See whereabouts this is. There's a bit somewhere. What's that down there then? Not sure what that is. Maybe a bit, bit of lead or something. Not too sure. It's got some weight to it. Don't know if it's coke or not, but yeah. It's the first hole, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Right, here's a nice one. Uh, this one's coming to 72. I'll do another live dig for you. It's quite hard to do sometimes because you've got to dig and hold. You know, I record on my phone, so it's hard to get it all in shot sometimes when you're digging and uh, recording at the same time. But we'll give this one a go. Get a couple of bits out there. Check if it's out. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's out somewhere. Oh, it's in that patch down here. Let's see what we've got then. It's still saying 72. Let's see what we've got. Oop. What have we got down here then? It's there piece of lead I believe yeah just a piece of lead but that was coming in a nice number so we've got to dig it nice tone piece of lead right on to the next one we just had this target down here um it kind of uh, attracted me a little bit it was a very high tone um, in the hole but this is what it sounds like out the hole 85 I was giving them numbers in the hole same thing as the outside outside the hole as well and I'm pretty sure it's this massive piece of lead down here. Very heavy. That's why it gives, it gives a good tone. Uh, just think it's, a, it's just a random piece of lead really. Maybe melted down and there's no detail on it, I don't think. But I'll give it a clean up and if there is, I'll uh, post a photo. But just a random piece of lead, I believe. Go in the scrap bucket. Happy days. Right, on to the next one. Here's a good signal to stop me in my tracks. 72, solid 72 as well. I keep saying I'm not going to do these live digs, but I feel like sometimes you guys like watching them because you can see it straight from the ground then. See what we've got. Let's take out a couple of shovelfuls. See if it's out. Very poorly dug shovelfuls anyway. Let's see what we've got. Don't think it's out yet. Let's dig again. Maybe it's in that bit that I haven't uh, 
out properly because sometimes um you'll lose signals as well i've dug uh, holes before where it's been absolutely built on signal and then you put your detector over it again and your signal's gone you think well that's such a good signal where is it gone but sometimes the detector once you've dug a little bit doesn't um there we go it's out now sometimes the detector doesn't actually detect it's funny enough if it's sitting in the hole still so say that loose stuff down there um if it, if your phone's there sometimes the detector won't um find it again so dig out another shovel for them sometimes you'll be surprised and it's actually out of the hole oh there we go look what we've got there is that a button let's have a look i feel like it's another button yep there's a, a broken shank on the back it's a solid button there we go found hundreds of these whilst detecting but Nice 72 signal. I think it's a little pewter button. Like I say, the shank would have been on the back there, but yeah. Nice little find, that one. Happy days. On to the next one. Alright, we've got this iffy signal down here. <laughs> 70s, late 60s. Uh, I'm going to dig this one out. Uh, let's do it live. Sod it. Gonna do, just gonna do it off camera, but we'll do another live one just because why not? Why not? Let's dig this one out and see what we've got. It's quite difficult detecting on stubble, as a lot of you know, but I've got these settings on which seem to be finding me a few little uh, bits and bobs. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video and I'll post up the settings I'm using, which which is what I used on the uh, button boy dig actually, which found me that uh, very nice King David, but make sure you have a look and uh, if you're struggling a little bit, but yeah, um, you know, if you want stubble feels like me, I mean, it's not short stubble either, it's wheat stubble and uh, yeah, it's very difficult to detect, but hey, we're out and we're enjoying ourselves. So that's the main thing. Don't, don't forget to stick around and I'll show you what settings I'm using. Oh, the shovel falling over. Oh, I believe that's what we've got here. What have we got in there then? I believe it's an old shotgun cap or a little bullet cap or casing. Yep, yeah, that's why it's a bit iffy because it has a hole in the bottom so maybe it was that way up. Sometimes you've got to dig them iffy signals because you never know what you're going to find. But yeah, a little shotgun or bullet case and a little tip there. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, I've moved on to a barley stubble field because uh, that wheat stubble field was just crazy. I mean, the stubble was about 12 inches long in some places. It was just so hard to detect through. But I've come into this barley stubble field anyway. Been here many times before. Had some nice bits off here, but just had this first signal. 74, 75, and if you look down here in this clod, got one of my favourites just sitting right there. Well, I think it is anyway, so we'll just take this out together. Yeah, just as I thought, a little musket ball. There we go, straight out the little clod. A musket ball, one of my favourite musket or pistol ball, depending on the size of it. But happy days. I don't know what it is about these. Um, a lot of people, it's just, just a tiny piece of lead, but to me, that's uh, some good history, that. Civil War muskets. Lovely little find. I'm happy with that. Go in the collection pot. Right. Let's see if we can go wingle up some more. See you on the next one. Right, here's another one for you all. It's in this clod. This one's coming at 66, 65. And I think we've just found ourselves another little pistol ball. Musket ball just there. Let me zoom in for you. You can all see that. Let's break this clod open. Zoom back out again so it focuses. Let's pop that down and break this open. I believe it is. Not far from where we just had that last one. Oh, maybe not. It's not a pistol ball or a musket ball. It looks to be a little lead bullet. Normally find them a lot smaller than this one. Give that a little wipe. Got a bit of wipe there. Yeah, look at that. It's only got two rings on this one by the look of it. Sometimes you find them with two or three, but this one's two. It's a little, uh, little lead pistol bullet of some sort. 
I'm not too sure what I actually uh, fired these little things, but if anyone knows, drop us a comment down below. But yeah, happy days. Nice little find, that one little lead bullet. Right, on to the next one. All right, here we have another nice signal. Solid 61, we'll get this one on a live dig for you. See how much shorter this uh, barley stubble is. It's a hell of a lot better to dig. Or an old one or to dig. The ground's easy digging, but to swing, it's a lot easier. It's a lot nicer. Let's dig this one out. But the digging's easy. See if that one's out. I mean, look at this now. It's a lot easier to, to swing through this, you know. Hell of a lot easier. Right. I think we're out somewhere. Over there somewhere. Oh, I think I can see it just at the bottom of that clod. Look. Looks to me like maybe a button. Yep. Got ourselves a little button, look. Happy days. Still got the shank on the back of this one. No detail on the front, unfortunately, but hey, still a button. And like I said before, where there's buttons, there's normally coins. So, let's hope for some coins, shall we? Well, we've had this signal done here. It's a really nice signal, coming in at 85. 845, I've dug it out. I haven't seen what it is yet. Thought I'd do the digging off camera because it's a bit easier. Let's see what we've got. It's down here somewhere. Oh, look at that. Just a piece of rubbish. But you gotta dig them because uh it's picking off because they sound really nice but a bit of trash unfortunately. Oh well gotta dig them to find the good stuff. On to the next one. Well, we've just had this other signal out of this hole down here, and this is one coming in at 76 77. And yeah, again we found ourselves another little musket ball in this clod here. You can see there, just in there. Out. Happy days, you know how much I love finding these, so I'm happy. I've had about four or five today, I haven't recorded a couple, I don't think, but I've got four or five or so in the pouch. Lovely little musket ball. Happy days. Still yet to find a hammy, but hey, we might find one, we'll see. On to the next. Here we go, guys. I'm uh, happy now. Oh, shovel's falling over, look, but we don't care because look. <laughs> 75, 76, I just had a signal down there, it was a little nail and then I went to go check my hole again and then this one right next to it Can you see that? <sighs> Happy days, it looks like a hammer Haven't even looked at it Might not be but I can see some right around the edge there <laughs> This makes up for all them musket balls eh? Happy days, let's take it out of that clod Happy days, look at this on the hammered to reveal it shall we look at that oh what a beauty what an absolute beauty that is looks like an eddie penny to me crikey that is in some really nice condition oh my goodness look at that happy days oh i'm over the moon with that one zoom in for you what a beauty what an absolute stunner. Edward, uh, well, could be first, second or first. I can never tell the difference, but an Eddie Penny coming in at 75. I think it was 76 for this day of setting. It's on sensitive three program. I'm going to run you through the settings after I've uh, put this in my coin pod, but really just look at that. That is what it's all about. Beauty, get in there. All right, me and Edward will see you on the next hole. All right, everyone, I'm going to quickly run you through these uh, settings that I'm using. So I'm on the Sensitive Free program, and what I've done is I've changed it up a little bit. So discrimination is minus 6.4, left it how it was. At the moment I'm running 95 sensitivity, um, these ground conditions, that's as, as good as I can get at the moment, because if not, it's too choppy and all over the place. So uh, 95 is, you know, good for me, but you might want to up it or lower it depending on your ground conditions. Frequency shift, left that at 5, haven't changed that at all. And then we've got the iron volume is 3. Reactivity I've put down to 2. 
Um, I mean, with my swinging, um, I don't swing too fast. I keep the coil nice and flat, as low to the ground as I possibly can. And, uh, you know, two's, two's been working very well for me. And then we've got our audio response as uh, four. So I haven't changed too much um, from the, the normal FT program or sensitive free, or you know, program free sensitive FT. Um, and the only other thing I've done is I've put it to um, square tones as well. So if you go onto your settings by pressing the power button once, go onto audio, and then you want to scroll down to audio type, and you can change this from power to square. And if you've updated to uh, one of the newer settings, you get um, even, a, I think, I can't remember what it's called, it's another high square tone, I think. Um, and if you've got that and you like the sound of that, use that. But I really like the sound of this square tone, so I'm using that one. And yeah, that's all I've done. I've literally just tweaked it a little bit. And this is working very, very well for me. And so far, with um, I've found, I think, four golds. I've got two quarter staters, gold hammered, and a little um, gold pommel. So, hey, it's working for me. And if I can share these details with you and hopefully it works for you, then happy days. So... Um, yeah, that's the settings and hopefully you find some good stuff. So We'll see you on the next hole peeps. Well everyone. Um, I've come off as well I've moved from a wheat stubble field to a barley stubble field where I had that hammered um, And on the way back I, I was gonna, gonna head home and I see one of my favorite fields have been harvested um, Got bean stubble on so I thought oh, God, might as well give it an hour or so I've been walking on here for about half an hour, haven't had too many signals and I've just stumbled across this signal. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you, but um, hammered again. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around and show you the signal. Oh, you might even be able to see it from here, but dug this hole out. 85, I think it was 84 in the hole, 85 and now it's out of the hole. But I've literally dug this out and that's how it's come out of the hole. Look at that down there. Hammered. <laughs> Happy days. Let me just pick this one up. Look at that. Exactly how it's come out of the hole. Wet clay soil. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. I'm not going to rub it too much, but that date on there, 1595. I reckon that's a Lizzie. I think that's going to be an absolute, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Don't normally come up in great condition, Lizzie's, but I don't think it's as big as a shilling, but maybe maybe a groat. I'm not sure if, if, if there's a, a Lizzie groat or not, but happy days. I'm well chuffed with that. Get in there. On the hammered. <laughs> well, I'll post some pictures once it's clean, but I'm well happy with that. All right, let's go see if we can find some more, hey? See you on the next. Hi right, everyone, that's me done for today. Um, I've had a very busy day, lots of holes. Um, I've, I've walked uh, quite a bit, about 12,000 steps I've done. So I've uh, done, done my exercise for today, I can feel that. So yeah, I've uh, had a really nice day. Um, it's just nice to be back on the field again. It's good to record for you guys, so you've got a bit of footage to watch, because like I say, I haven't done that for a little while. Um, but it's just nice to be able to record for you guys again. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed it. Um, done really well on them two hammers. Really nice hammers. Um, just really pleased with those. So done really well. And uh, I'm going to stop yarrowing. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Any feedback's a help. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. So yeah, bye for now.